<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Amore. Last time we left off, we were spending our last evening together in Faraway Town. Went to go see the little homecoming party of those new neighbors. And saw Mincy and the cat and had a burgers of Cal's family and all that. And um, we went back home to Basil's place and apparently he's back home but he locked himself in his bedroom and is just not talking to anybody so I guess we're like you know what let's all stay here for the night so we'll be here for him if he needs us we go to sleep and Sonny wakes up in white space we destroy the bulb and it's just all this is very tense we picked up a few photos and now we're here speaking with Basil not sure what's about to happen here Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please, forgive me. I got his photo album. Hold on, oh, I, I can't even view it right now. So, what truth of that day? I thought we... Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna like this, am I? This is our home. Door was covered in hair. I can't even make out what was this? it. Was a curtain? So this is like some other photo album here, but I can't make out like what's what. I'm not gonna like what I'm gonna see, am I? Like at all? Okay, well, I'm kind of glad we actually stopped the video when we did and, and doing this right now, like all fresh per se. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. And once again, we saw this photo before too, but it's like creepy as all hell. Everybody's face is kind of distorted besides Mari's. going on there? That's Basil. What's going on? Okay. It's just kind of haunting that there's barely any music or noise coming out of this. Okay, well, it looks like the hair drew back. Just a bunch of people hooked up the hospital beds. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. Five kids having a picnic. Four kids riding an elevator. Four kids talking to a whale. Person is breathing steadily. What is that? See, this is one of the problems where, like, once again, I'm at a weird angle, you know, playing this game, like, watching what's on my TV. Like, granted, I, I have my my other screen here, like, my, my monitor, but the colors are a little washed out because of the, the program I'm using. The person, like, disappeared. Was that another photo right there? Now, what is that? It, is that Mari lying down? That looked like Sonny's... Uh, 
hand. Oh, so what's happening is like when I pick up more and more photos, more people are like disappearing from their hospital beds, I guess. See, I'm still trying to figure out. It looks like I assume that's Sunny, but is that Maury? I am not going to like whatever this is. Like, abs like, absolutely not. Why can't I find... <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding uh, the, the space that's... Uh, there we go. I was being highlighted. Are these different as well? Like, these TVs... Three kids and one toast. Four kids talking to a giant statue. Four kids playing in the forest. Four kids riding a minecart. So basically our adventures throughout the, uh, throughout the thing. Wait. The hell? This one's different. This person is not breathing. Yeah, let's go towards a bright light. And now we're long stairs. What is that on the bottom there? Is that the hair that was covering up the hallway before? Okay, that has to be Mari, but what exactly? I'm a little... I don't know. I don't know if I'm not looking at this right, but it just... So once again, why am I having a hard time trying to find the spaces that are blinking? There we go. Wait, is there something on me? Is that blood? Do I... Okay, there's more here. Okay, so that's definitely us going downstairs. Is there, is, is there something in the bottom there? I, I can... I can't really tell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come I can't try and get the photo? Okay, wait a minute. Is that Mari on the ground? What the hell happened? This person is not breathing. And then there's that stranger. Is that us? Sunny. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. What do you mean? What is Mari doing here? Where am I now? What is this area? Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Okay. Oh, okay, I can go out bounds here. Alright, okay, this is what I'm confused about. What, hold on. That looks like us, right? But are we carrying? Okay, what the hell was that? Are we carrying Mari? And 
And why does it look like I'm like... Every time this happens, look at the amount of fingers that happens. We keep losing fingers. Like there's blood on our hands. Son of a bitch. No, 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 no. And what something creepy is like showing up here and there. What? Hold on a minute. Just... You can't be telling... It looks like a bunch of musical instruments, right? Or like... So, oh, there's like music stands and I see... I think drums. Hold on. No. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. Why? I I have a terrible feeling I know what just happened, but Oh no. No, 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 no. Why? But what about whatever... Jeez, we look demented now. Do I want to screw in the light bulb? I guess? Didn't want to sit down. Yeah, I just want to take a look at everything. Ah! Why even give me a prompt on this one? That's why? But... <sighs> That's the truth? So, okay. We were led to believe that Mari committed suicide that she hung herself but what the hell do these photos just show us especially the ones that we're looking at right here like it's her it's Amori excuse me Sunny and Mari over the stairs and then it looks like, like, absolutely looks like he pushed her. Right? I, I need to see these photos from, like, beginning to end, but, like, I, I need to place them all here first. Especially this one right here. This looks like he just straight up pushed her. Huh. 
Hold on. It, it won't let me view them in closer detail. But, like, the photo on the bottom left and on the, the, the entirety of the page on the right is pretty damning, where it just looks like he pushed her. Ah, oh, there's still another... What are these now? Is that a damn jump rope? Okay. Oh my, this is really get, getting to me. From what I'm getting from these photos... Something happened between Mari and, um, and Sunny. He pushed her, I, I think... And that may have... I think that is what may have killed her. But what's going on here? Like, I see them... Like, I see her my... Him holding her... And over... Or, did he place her in on the bed? But then we see these pictures where they're going out to the backyard. And now there's going to be more to fill in. I, I think I know what, what's going on now. You've got to be shitting me. No. No, no, no. Well, I think this completely explains Sonny's reclusiveness. But if I'm looking at these pictures right as well, it looks like Basil's there as well. That would explain... the reason why he's acting the way that he's acting. Two more photos. And then I think we'll get the full story of what happened here. I, mean, I love how they're driving home the blood on our hands, but, uh, yeah. Oh my god. And a toy box is there as well. What is in that toy box? Close behind us. I'm almost afraid to see what the hell is going to be on this last photo. Looks like the first photo. Oh wait a minute! Are, are they are they going through each one now? So I, I'm not sure what those first two depicted, but then it's like there's Mari and Sunny. Something happens with, between them, and I think this has to be an accident. He pushed her down. He goes to check on her. Yeah, he's trying to pick her up and she's dead. And here, it's like, I think he's actually... I think it was both of them. Sunny and maybe Basil were picking her up, putting her upstairs. Why? Is it just me or is he smiling in this photo? And here's what I'm confused. 
It looks like they're placing her in bed. Like, I, like, I think he's just kind of freaking out here. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What just happened? And, th and this is where I'm confused about. Like, they did that, and they take her downstairs. They open the sliding door. There is the tree, and they're like, oh. Let's stage as if it was a freaking suicide. These are 12-year-old kids at this point. That was a disturbing last photo. Hold on. I'm sure, like, this is gonna be our normal one. Okay. That last photo, and that explains the something. Sunny, I love you. Sunny, I love you. It... It was Mari. It was just a very... Twisted image of her. Because... Uh, looking at that last photo, was that her eye... Peering out from her hair? Is that why that, that something always looked like that? Okay, screw this. I need to save. This feels like I'm actually putting in another save, save slot here. Something doesn't seem right here at all. For the love of God, Basil. Do I want to save him? Yes. So, like, this is the guilt that we... Like, this is what, what Sonny and Basil have been... Living with for the past four years? I want to know whose idea was it to stage a suicide? Has he just been staring at her the entire time? Uh, Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's... It's so good to see you. Ah, oh, he's looking a little antsy. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari... Mari fell. You... You couldn't have done it. It was something behind you. Wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do anything like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But... Tomorrow... You're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Huh. There's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Ah. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. S stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. Basil, I... No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. 
It's something behind you again, isn't it? There it is now! Do you see it? Stay away! Stay away from Sunny! What about you? I'll protect you no matter what, Sunny. You can count on me! When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny. Sonny wouldn't. He wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. So yeah, that's supposed to be... So what what I thought it was, was like something that looked like a face looking to like the left. That's supposed to be like an image of Mari's eye peering through her hair when she was left hanging. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything is going to be okay. What? Yeah, I'm afraid as hell. What? But that's the energy meter, but it looks like a heartbeat monitor. So you're tell like, okay. Sonny did what he did to Mari. The reasoning, I don't know if we're going to find out or not right now, but Basil couldn't accept it. And he's like, we need to do something to save you. So from what I'm getting out of this is like it was Basil's idea to do what he did regarding faking the suicide. I need to calm down first. Ah, uh, that didn't work. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. Can I? I sure can't. Okay, let's just try focusing then. Nope. You tried the focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. You mean he reached inside me? The the energy thing is going up because I guess I am technically getting hit. Let's try persisting. Sonny! There's no way out of this, is there? Oh my god. You try to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. I can't! Oh, I can't even use a... I don't want to attack him. I don't have a choice, do I? Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? Like, we're, we're just fighting each other at this point. It's getting the meters getting worse. Sonny, do you hate me? I want to know the absolute truth of that day. Like, we, we the, according to the pictures, we saw what we did. And then what, ba because Basil's feeling guilt for covering it up, like, th this is what's, what's been eating us inside all this time? Now, I don't mean to be a dick. Well, maybe I am, but... Yeah, I... W of course I would... I can't blame them for being like this, but... Am I wrong to think that it's kind of sadistic that they even came up with this idea when they were... Young like that? Like, 12? 
Like, I understand that, like, maybe they were afraid of getting in trouble with what they did. He accidentally killed Mari. But to go to that length? And if nobody else knows the truth, I mean... I'm getting pissed off at these two now. Please, stop it. I don't have a choice. It looks like I don't have a choice, Basil. I mean, you're, you're hurting me too here. I still can't run. Can't use a skill. Can't. Just attacking. Stop struggling, Sonny. I'm. I'm so tired. Like, it, it's eating them away inside. Just destroy. Wait, what is it? What does it say in the bottom there? I think it's that everything's going to be okay. Stressed out. That is a absolutely um, pertinent image of it. I don't want to fight anymore. How, how do I... How do I do the things that everything is going to be okay? How? They're just really kind of going at it, huh? I, I, I don't think I can do anything else. I assume one more hit and that's it. Let me just check one more time. Like, no, there's nothing I can do. One more time? No, this is it. you stop like were we actually fighting each other like what happened to Sonny I don't even know what this... I thought that was from... I thought that was me. I thought that was, like, from, like, out my window. No, that's... Did they find us like that? Look, it's, it's morning now. What even? I, mean, I know I said, like, oh... Okay. We're still sunny. Th There's a toy box key. I swear I didn't see it before. And this is just... It's the regular photo album. I, I know I said I was upset with these two, but... The amount of... Grief. The amount of guilt that they must have been going through is must be insane. But... <sighs> Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost. But it's not too late for redemption. My microphone's being dumb. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. Is that Mari talking to us? Like, it, it looks like a long flowing gown. So I have to go back home? That's our cat. <laughs> I just love how it hops away. OK. 
Okay, yeah, the, I guess this is our street. This should be our house, right? There's Basil. Hi, Sonny. You find your way back home. I don't know if, I'll, if I've ever said this properly, but... I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Cal, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. Well, see, here's the thing. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Nobody knows the truth about Mari's death now, besides us two. We know what really happened. We know she didn't kill herself. But Aubrey, Kel, Hero, everyone else, when they... If they find out what we did, are they ever going to forgive us? Like, I can maybe, maybe see... Maybe Kel, over time, like... You know, try patching things up and like it's it's okay. You know what, what happened? It's, it's done. You know, like what matters is we're here. I can maybe see him do that. Aubrey, I can see go either way. Hero. Here's the thing. Like I know the man. You know he's he's the oldest in our group. He seems mature, but he really loved Mari. You're telling me when he finds out the truth that we accidentally. I'm a, here's the word, accidentally, because I can't tell if that was accident or not, but we, let's just go with it, he accidentally killed Mari, and then Basil and I covered it up with a fake suicide? I think people can only have so much love and faith in them to be that forgiving. I, I don't know. It, it's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path of your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Oh, Sonny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Well, I'm leaving, so... <laughs> Don't forget it's in the toy box. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, where's the toy box? Our house seems like it's full of... Wait a minute. Oh, look at little baby Moa, Sonny. And little baby Mari. And that's our mama, huh? Mm hmm. And I don't know what happened to our father, to be quite honest, but. Oh. Where. So it's in the toy box. 
Where is that toy box? Mari! And our cat! Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. I mean, we can't ever forgive you or forget you, right? And from what she's telling us, it's basically like... It was an accident. Good kitty. It was just a huge accident. Is that Mari's room? Is a toy box in here? Yes, it is. So what's been in this toy box this whole time? Or is it more like a figure of speech, metaphorically? Is that... Is that the violin? Oh, the whole thing about the recital. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. I got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. So did that? Because that's what I'm a little confused about. Is the violin is it broken because of the fall? Sheet music from your last recital. But we never had that recital. Well, she she was... It was the day of the recital where... I hate saying that she was killed, but... Yeah. Violin, yeah, it's, it's a broken violin. And maybe he broke it because of the guilt, once again. Cannot be played. So now what? Right, well, we we got the toy box. We see what's in the toy box. Oh, uh, so we did share a room. A very very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Mari's bed, and mine too when I had nightmares. I, I don't know what to say. I really... I, this is... hard as hell. Do I leave? I don't know how the hell we got on the highway, but okay. The hell's this? 
Uh, oh, it's a street light. Oh, then it got brighter, well, at least according to the, the border. Yes, I got what, what I needed. Uh-oh, my, ha my hand doesn't look so good. Now, we had a photo of this, like, just us hanging out in the, in the treehouse and just playing. You can't just tell, uh, tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah! What'd you get behind me, Mari? See, then there's a photo. I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Aw, man! Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this! Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sonny! It's... it's too horrible. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best. Huh, Sonny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. I want a cookie now. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Oh, you're so cute. It's so nice to spend our last days of summer here. We should do this every year. Here, have a cookie. Yay! I got Mari's cookie. It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. Stop it now! I'm getting, like, really, really hungry. You look at Hero's hand. It's a king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? You look at Aubrey's hand. It's a two, a five, and a ten. Hmm, what do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. What does my hand look like? Ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? Some sort of girl with pink hair. I guess... Well, hold on. I'm gonna take a look around everywhere else. A calendar. Summer vacation's almost over. An old toaster. Does not make toast. An old TV. You brought up here. It was pretty bummed when he found out you couldn't use it. A bunch of toys are scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. A bunch of toys scattered around the floor. And it's Mr. Plan Egg, right? Aubrey's stuffed toy, Mr. Plan Egg. <sighs> Heroes cookbooks. Mari brought, uh, brought them for his birthday. Shoes that he forgot to take home last week. Oh, man, you remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made them from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. So we're going to keep doing this until the violin is completely fixed. And then what? This feels very finale-ish. Like, this is probably gonna be a long video, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's when we went to the beach! And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, Hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, oh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. And there he goes, going crazy at it. Aubrey sensibly eating. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you look cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Hey, Sonny, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Aw. She's so cute, isn't she? 
food. What is he doing? Ew, gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. Uh, you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? Man, she fires back. Oh, stop it, Aubrey. You're going to give me cooties. Oh, same thing. I, I personally, I don't like watermelon with seeds. I, I prefer mine seedless, but people like it. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, Hero? <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Uh, it's, it's all in good fun. Bunch of beach toys, fun for everyone. Her picnic basket. Do, now, do I want to save? Memory lane. I love, I love that. I definitely did not want to overwrite that because, it's like, we're like knee deep in whatever the hell is happening here. Life is good at the beach. Do I just go anywhere? Yeah. You remembered. Taste the watermelon. Tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. Mended itself a little bit more. So we're like we're we're reliving all these memories. What about the day of her death? That's what I'm worried about. What day is this now? Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world-famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. I think this is like somebody's sleepover or something. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? Okay, no, this is when... Okay. L look at freaking... Uh... Wait a minute. I'm a little bit confused. Who's... Who's with... Uh, hold on. Where am I at? I'm, I'm trying to wake up here. So who are the... Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did, did we wake you? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me when we were when you were just a baby. Is that Aubrey sleeping on her? I, I guess I can't remember the photo, but they're like they're, this was when we went... Um, uh, we had a picnic. Hey, Sonny, can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mario always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? I mean, it comes down to you. Now, remember, he, he just said my parents want me to become a doctor. He didn't say what you want to be. Yeah, be a chef. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? But yeah, my mom's gonna be have to is gonna have to have something to say about that. And Cal is snoring away. Hey, Sonny, I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Okay, yeah, so it, it is Aubrey that was sleeping uh, on her. Oh, we're <laughs> we're sleeping on her leg. Oh. This could have been a, such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo of his poop. 
Maybe I can cover up with tape later. Wait, can I see it again? I I, I missed the poop. I I I know it's disgusting. Yeah, there there's the poo a little bit. It's kind of out of focus, but okay. I don't know why the hell I'm so excited to see poo, but all right. Everyone's shoes. What do you say about the shoes? Can't get a pick them up uh, black and dirty. That's right. Pinwheel. And I guess I'll save again. Maybe on the same same file. I gotta say hi to Hector. Bark bark is poop. Oh, I stepped on it multiple times. Ew, it even made like made a little sound too. It, it, it's actually pretty awesome they they had this little area to themselves too basically her cookies yay what am I doing oh I pushed a and I, I guess he's just putting his feet in the water a little bit hmm guess I'll head out You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. Why is there applause happening in my house? <laughs> I think Benji was doing something and like they're like, oh, he did it. And I... Oh boy. All right, what's happening here? I know there's a day where like we went like hiking or whatever. Oh, this is a day we're all playing in the rain. Hey, look, it's Link. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my uh, of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color, pink. Yeah, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, yeah, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's gonna dye her hair purple. That would explain all the purple hair in Headspace. Okay. Wow, she really had a huge effect on him. Absolutely, you know, it's his older sister. Purple? You want no color I chose? Wait, are you are you saying are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. And Mari thinks so too. <laughs> I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? Yeah. Sonny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. <laughs> Whatever. You said you and Basil were playing with that new Pet Rocks game? Hmm. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to the hobbies and check if they have any new stuff? Yay. That settles it. One day I'm going to dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. Now, what about your father? I mean, he doesn't seem like he's around anymore. What is it, Sonny? Did you want to see the photo? Yeah. Aww. He always asks to look at my photo whenever I take many pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. Oh, <laughs> do a little crush. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Aww. All right, I guess that's that. Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us, we'll catch up in a minute. All right. Oh my god. But it's so hard reliving all these when we know what happened to Mari. The sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. 
It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Oh, guys, give me one minute. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, folks. I had uh, to do something with family really quick. Uh, so, yeah, we were just still reliving memory lane, apparently. Oh, get it, memory lane, and, like, we're on a lane. Well, I say a highway, but still. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. What else can we do? I, I think... Uh, are you sure you don't want to be in a photo, Sonny? Sonny's a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? Oh, this is Basil's birthday. This is way earlier. Because his birthday is like around February-ish. It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. And this is, yeah, this is Basil's place, yep. Yay, thanks, Hero! I love strawberries! Hey, me too! Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey! Or else, it won't come true! Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school! Hey, you can't do that! Hmm... A wish? Uh, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Hmm. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Uh, just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if you don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start off, uh, Mari? Oh, I don't know who that was. That was supposed to be a hero. Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil! Make a wish! <laughs> Freaking Kel. He remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his uh, birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. I mean, they were for a while. Oh, man. I can't even tell there's any music happening in the background. It's like, if it is, it's like very subtle. Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro! No problem, Cal. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh. You bet. Okay, Sonny. It's time for you to open up your present. So this is like the first photos that we have. This is our house. And we're all having, you know, celebrating Christmas. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah. Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. Man, look at that roast chicken on the, on the right there. Ugh. And the candy apples and the fruit. I am hungry. Amara and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? <laughs> I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us how you always sit in the room with her while she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. But we all decided to pitch him for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. 
This is from all of us to you. Because they love us, damn it. That is a beautiful looking violin, I must say. Oh. You know, there was a period of my life where I would have loved to actually learn violin. But like the thing is like there's a few instruments I used to play, but now not anymore. Like I used to be able to play I mean, I would say the piano, but really it was like well no, I started on the keyboards and I did a little bit of piano, but that was more mainly when I was in high school. I do not play anymore, and frankly, like, I don't think I can read sheet music anymore. Um, I used to play the guitar a little bit in high school as well, but not super great. And I know I forgot all that now, too. A lot of it was just a time commitment that I just really didn't have, unfortunately. Um, I would have liked to learn to play the violin. And not to say I never could. I mean, I probably still can now. It's just gonna have to find time for it, but yeah. Ta-da! It's your very own violin! We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out! You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if it's as if on its own, your body ready the violin to play. That was beautiful. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but it, you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. But what's all this, though? Remember to smell freshly baked cookies. Okay. The water So basically, just basically all, all the things that we saw. The rain. Falling asleep on her lap. Wait, what, was that the smile? Like, ba yeah, basil smile. And then the violin itself. Seeing their portraits from their younger, their real variants. Sonny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But... When the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you for, for that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I've always, uh, I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know that you're, you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us, too. Just because you've done something bad, it doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them, too. There's more good times to come. Life does get better. And you can be the one to make that happen. They changed! Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. 
No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sonny. Break a leg for me, alright? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always... We will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny! I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Yes, I would love to save. I think we already saw Memory Lane, so I'll go ahead and save over this one. Backstage. We believe in you, Sonny. They almost made it sound like whatever choice we make, what choice are we about to make? An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Is this the choice? Yeah, I'll place it down. You place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Yes. Those are a lot of seats. I can assume it'd be, it must be a lot of pressure having a recital and having this many people. That was a beautiful rendition of the theme. Are you bowing or are you on your knees? Or... Sonny? Oh boy. Is it because it reminds him of, of Mari? Okay, so that's us again, and this is we're here in white space. There's a Mori. It's just them. We're fighting a Mori. Hold on, I, I, I want to listen to this music really quick. Okay. I think this is it. I think this is him... I think this is symbolizing... Facing ourselves. Our biggest fear wasn't drowning, it wasn't heights, it wasn't spiders. It was facing ourselves, facing what we did. Facing Amori. Hey, there's a new skill here. A couple of these, actually. Allegro, attack three times. Encore, your juice will not fall for three turns. Cherish, heal your wounds and come back stronger. Well, Allegro's gonna. I want to use Allegro. Um. But that costs 19 juice, so I might as well use Encore. 
He gathered himself. Forty damage. Okay. So we used Encore, so now let's go ahead and use Allegro. Excuse me? Oh, he stabbed us. Okay. Slashing wildly. That did hurt a little bit. Okay. I'm, should I take a chance? Uh, I think we just made it. Amori did not succumb. But he's looking a little different. There's a hint of red now. Okay. Heal your wounds and come back stronger. You remember Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Ow. Okay. It's alright. heal after this, I'm sure. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. Calm down. Alright. That is such a like crappy attack. I haven't really gotten a chance to do much damage or do much in this turn. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Was that Amori saying that? I mean, I, I know I was hard myself on him, for what happened. It's like you doing what you did and hiding it is just terrible. But he's been living with this guilt for years. Oh god. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did then. You did them. And that's what you deserve. He did not succumb. Jesus. Let's calm down. I, I want to save Cherish for anything like major. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. That sucked. Do Encore. Alright, that's okay. When do you think of, when do you think about others? How long are you gonna let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. I hate this. Remember how I said before, like, everybody has their, like, inner demons that they fight and that they have to, like, deal with? This is exactly what I'm talking about. People like you don't deserve to live. People like you don't deserve to live. Okay, 
Stop saying that. He's, he's just gonna keep going on and on about it. Did not succumb. Oh! That image in the back. We've seen that here and there. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect it yourself. I hate this so much. It just gives very uneasy feelings. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. I, now I feel bad for what I said about them. I mean... Because it is terrible. I mean... I'm not saying what they, like, you know... They shouldn't feel bad. I mean, of course it is terrible, that, that, but that does not make them bad people. But they need help. Like, Jesus. If they know the truth, they'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. And, you, and all you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Won't be better. Shut up. Remember Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace or, you know, some happiness. Do I just have to keep, um. Maybe I have to keep doing a cherish. But I don't know. I'm doing this just in case because, like, I, I don't want to screw this up. And it's like, when he doesn't have anything else to say, he'll just repeat what he's been going on here. That is a rough attack. Hopefully it should be enough to take care of him. It did. It still did not succumb, though. But it says he will not succumb. Oh, his eyes are getting a little blah. Mm -mm. To cherish... Maybe this time we hero. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You killed Mari. She loves you, and you killed her. <laughs> Feeling afraid? No, no, no. Jeez, the noise. No, no, calm down. Calm down. Jesus. The audio, though. Hero loved her and you killed her. Aubrey loved her, and you killed her. Kel loved her, and you killed her. These noises, though. Basil loved her, and you killed her. Remember Basil's hope. Maybe 
Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You loved her, and you killed her. Oh, why the hell did I do that? Oh, I'm s sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. Wait, 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 why why couldn't I calm down? No, 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 why didn't that work? Did I screw this up? No! Why? Why? Is this, is this supposed to happen? I think this is supposed to happen. I hate this so much. Damn it, now what? You should just die. So I lost? Oh, shoot. It does say game over. I don't think I've ever gotten a game over in this game, so now I'm a little... Well, damn it. I don't remember the last time I saved. Do you want to continue? What? Was this always a choice? What? Is that us sleeping? Yes, I'd like to continue. Now, wait a minute. If I didn't do that... Look, look how determined he is. He's like, you want, you want to do this shit? Let's go. So... Yeah, this is... What will Sonny do? We'll play. Oh my god, that is adorable! He was super chubby! Oh, then he had the nightmares. <laughs> Just growing up. Hey! Where's Aubrey? That's when she lost her shoe, that's when they met her! And is this the first time they're meeting Basil? Yeah, it must be. So he was he was Aubrey's friend first? This shit's gonna make me cry, damn it. Hey, he sold Mr. Plant Egg. A little crush maybe. All the beautiful plants and flowers. Uh oh, who's this? Oh, they talked about this. They, yeah, this is when he almost drowned and Mari saved us. Oh.
he's like exhausted. He's like well, everything that just happened. He need. I think Amori's like okay. You suffered so much, and Amori's now gone. I think Sonny just overcame his greatest fear, and that was himself. Wow. Take a bow, Sonny. Take a bow. You've made Maury so proud. And I know that she forgives you. So we, we really did, like... For we we were sure of fighting Basil. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. God, I feel like a dick, but like you know, because like I, I'm still pissed off what happened with Mari and what what Basil and Sunny did. But dear God, the amount of torture and suffering they must have felt all these years. Oh, flowers from Kel and Hero's family. And Aubrey. Sending a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sonny. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Sonny, thank you for your help during the summer. Warmest wishes for a speedy recovery. Flowers from Mincy. Thank you for motivating me to keep sketching. Hope you feel better soon. Thinking of you always. Flowers from Shopkeep. Yo, son, Sonny, just sending healthy vibes your way. You've always walked into hobbies. Flowers from Joy's family. Hello, Sunny. Please get well soon. Thank you for tutoring Joy over the summer. She's doing very well in all her classes. I'm, well, I'm glad to hear. A gift, well, a get well gift from Kim and Vance's mom. Get well soon, Sunny. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. Flowers from Jesse and Jesse's dad. <laughs> Hope you're taking care of yourself, Sunny. Jesse's been talking to me a lot lately. You must have picked out a great birthday gift. A get well gift from artist. Hi, Sunny. Hope you're doing uh, taking it slow and easy. Get well soon and come visit. I need to ask you some more for more opinions. Flowers from Sean and Karen. Wishing you well, Sunny. We're all finished moving into our new home, so please come visit sometime. Flowers from Bay Bay's family. Sunny, thanks for buying me that floor lamp. I never did see my my son Billy again. What the hell does that mean? I hope he's doing all right. That's terrible. A get well gift from Kim and Vance's dad. Sending you some good wishes. Just like a big old rubber ball, you'll bounce back. Flowers from Brent's family. Hey, Sonny, hope you're feeling stronger every day. You were a big help to Brent over the summer. He has been doing excellent in school. Nice. A get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sonny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. Partake in his bread and regain strength. Then play with us again. So basically, we're getting flowers from everybody, it seems like. But I'm wondering if I'm missing any. I mean, they seem the correlate. Like, you know, like one to one on each side. I don't know. Wait, are these flowers from somebody? From Mincy. Oh, never mind. Okay. I don't know. It is possible I could have missed something. Like, there's this one here. Or like these two spots, maybe, or a spot here or there. I have a feeling I did miss something, and that's okay. You know what can I do? Um. All right. Nothing special about that one. There's a big ass whole uh, hospital room. Do I check on like where is everyone else here? Doors locked. Door's locked. 
Thor's like, that's our friend. But that's our headspace friend. Right? Okay. Wait, that's... Basil's shadow. Crap, where do I go? <laughs> I'm worried I'm gonna make a wrong choice here. Hopefully it doesn't matter too much. I just gotta check these doors. I just have to be thorough. I mean, I do want to check up on Basil, frankly. I mean, after all we've been through. There he is. Is this the room? Aubrey, Kel, Hero, and, and Basil's recovering as well. Hey guys. I have to tell you something. Wait, is that it? Yep. Wow. There's actually lyrics to this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Amori. Um, wow. Yeah, no, that, that was a hell of a story. Uh, I can see why I received a lot of praise. I mean, gameplay-wise, you know, you know, like, it, it's nothing to, like, scream about. It was a, it's a cool, you know, RPG, and, like, I like the mechanics, especially with the, you know, using follow-up attacks and all that. It's actually, I, that was really cool. It's definitely the story that draws you in. Because it's it's real. Uh, is I don't know if that's how I want to put it, but it's a very yeah. It's something that I think people can relate to the the feeling of loss and um, pain, guilt, suffering. You know, I'm not saying the exact scenarios ever happened where. You know, somebody accidentally kills their sibling and like, oh, let's frame frame it as a suicide. Um, but the feeling of loss and depression and special things to me. Thank you. No, oh, thank you for making this. Everybody that worked on it. This was a hell of a ride. I just didn't think it was an end like that. One more day. Reach the good ending. So that means there's a bad ending. It looks like Basil woke up. Oh, crap! Oh, no, I went away. So I guess that was the... Yeah, I guess that was the good ending. Thanks for playing. Oh, it's the the tree, and they left flowers and books and plants. <sighs> this is rough because this is the good ending, and it is extremely still. It's still rough because yes, it, it seems like they've. A, they finally overcome their, uh, how do you want to put it, their their guilt of what happened. And they're ready to face it head on and they're ready to tell everybody. But this goes back to what I mentioned earlier. 
how will they react? Like, maybe, I think in time, they'll be okay, but maybe that, maybe I'm just a little iffy on that part. But this was fantastic. I really enjoyed going through this. And that's a... It's a nice little image there. With it being strictly sunny. And like he, he has come to terms of everything. So apparently I got 43 out of 83 badges. Just 51%, just over half. Damn. Well, let's see which ones we got. We got get a perfect score delivering pizza. Defeated the download window. Perfectly trained the Sprout Mold Choir. Oh, I did it perfectly? Nice. Defeat 100 bunnies. <laughs> Defeat Mr. Jawsome. I ruined Christmas. High five Cal three times. Oh, okay. I was like, did I miss it? I keep thinking the thing on the bottom is a... Uh, is a, uh, a tracker for these achievements. Wait. Why is Bunny Exterminator here twice? Actually, I'm a little bit confused. Hold on a minute. Now, now it looks like the little... That was odd. Anyway. Um, actually, no. oh! I, man, it was going. it's going up to down, not left to right. That's why I was confused. Uh, high five count three times. Choose the fall mole, which... Okay. Have a ghost party. Defeat the earth. Go to Sean and Karen's housewarming party, uh, party, pet a dog, defeat her, water a plant back to life in Basil's garden, complete a grammar worksheet correctly, wake up in the morning, complete his request, complete the all part-time jobs once, complete the math worksheet correctly, sweetheart, reach the good ending. So that's what gets me. There has to be a bad ending. There has to be, I don't know if there's other endings. I'm a little afraid to even bother to check the other endings. Because I feel like it's just gonna... Like, I'm iffy on this good ending, kinda. Like, uh, yes, the idea that they got past their guilt and fear, that's good, but such a still tragic story. I can only imagine what bad ending is, and I... Well, I'll get to that in a moment. Hold on a minute. Go to sleep after a long day. Commission all of his art. Defeat Kite Kid, which was a random... That was a random thing, too. Release energy on your foes. Get all rewards from the recycling machine, which I've done. Uh, SpaceX Boyfriend. Defeat the Recycle Path. That was a little badge. Okay. Now, these badges, obviously, are not the same thing with achievements in the game, but, you know, still. Defeat the Slime Girls. Kill the first sous chef. I didn't mean to kill him. What is even the name of it? So majestic, so beautiful. Fly the butt certificate on the cat fuel field. I remember that. Commission Rococo. Defeat 100 squizzards. That was a great way to grind and get some money, that's for sure. Turn the valve to the right in Rain Town. I heard if I do it to the left, something bad happens. Trade clams for clams, which we've done and kicked his ass. We fed the stray cat all, you know, all the time. We defeated the unbred twins. We high-fived Kel. Did Pluto expanded? Make your way and talk to the lone mole, which I thought was random as hell. Humphrey, time to feast, time to feast, time to you to get deceased. <laughs> get flowers, the Mari, and get the little sword, which I forgot to even use. So yeah, I mean, I I'm I'm not pressed to get all these badges. You know, just kind of cool to see. Okay, so um. What I wanted to say really quick was, uh, I do not know if I'm going to uh, do anything else with Amori here. Um, I am aware that there is what you want to what you want to call another route, and I can. I think what triggers it 
Because I, I know one exists, I just don't know how to get to it, but I'm assuming how you get to it is um, not answering the door. Because I, I mentioned that too, I'm like, wait a minute, look at all that happens when we open the door to Kel, right? We explore Faraway Town, we meet everybody, we do all these side quests. Frankly, we also kind of get over our fears from like from that stuff as well. But what happens if we don't open the door? Does the game make you open the door? Does the game allow you to do so, but then you skip everything? But how does everything else play out? Because remember, we missed a couple. We well, missed with three keys. We missed. Like, how else do we get those? And and I, like I said before, I'm sure I missed quite a few things, you know, even in this playthrough, this route. Um, but, you know, it's okay. I mean, I tried being as encompassing as I can. But I'm at this point where I am a little bit afraid to check out the different endings. I'm, like I said... I'm assuming if there's a good one, there's a bad one, or if there's anything else in between. I'm afraid to check those out. Um, and just putting in the time for another playthrough, another route, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe not yet. I don't know. Um, I think I just need a break from the game, for sure. And I, I maybe should delve into other things. Uh, it was a hell of a ride. You know, I, I can completely understand the game, giving the warning in the very beginning, like this depicts things of, you know, that are maybe disturbing to others and, you know, containing topics of suicide, anxiety, depression. And it, um, they nailed it on the head, you know? I, I remember when Aubrey why she was explaining she was so upset with Basil and also the idea of like, you know, how everybody moved on, life moves on. I 100% agree, agree with that. Um, you know, cause like I, I went through it. You know, I, I like, um, I went through the grief. I'm still going through the grief of lo losing a loved one. And, there, there was a point where I was sitting down a little bit, you know, it was like a few months maybe afterwards, and I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, so this is the new normal, huh? This is, this is what life is now. And it bothered me because it's like, for me, this is normal now, and everything else just kept moving forward. Because... That is life. And I remember thinking, like, that's not fair, you know? It shouldn't have to be like that. Like, I'm grieving. I'm suffering. Okay. But that doesn't mean everything else has to, you know, slow down. Everything has to keep going. <sighs> yeah. I'm not really sure what I want to say at this point. Uh, I've this, game, this video has gone more than two hours at this rate. Um, at least before editing. So. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to keep thinking what I want to do. Do I want to possibly show... Like, I, I, I may need to look up the... How to get... The bad ending, or if there's, or if there's any other, anything else I've missed, I may have to look it up. Yeah. And then if I had to, if there is any other route, well, there is another route, but like going through it all and all that, I'm not sure if I want to delve into it just yet. I, I don't know. For the time being, ladies and gentlemen, consider this the you know absolute finale of Amori. And if I decide to you know come back to it, hey, it'll be a nice surprise. But for the time being, I think I'm 
satisfied. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching my Let's Play of Amori. It has been a absolute roller coaster. I love you all so much. And as I always say, don't forget to spread that love around. Especially when you see a game like this. And if you feel, you know, bad on, on yourself or hard on yourself or something, remember, people love you out there. And life does get better, even if we cannot see it at an exact moment in time. Love you all so much, and have a great day.